Welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe Lingen. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi everyone. In today's video, we will be making some fried pumpkin and fish. Now, for my fish, I'm using some red snapper that I've already washed and dried. I will be seasoning this in a few minutes and to season that I will be using some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, accent, black pepper, complete seasoning, adobo and some Goya Sazan and here I have some green seasoning and some cornstarch. Now this I'll be using just to season my fish and for my pumpkin I will be using this type of pumpkin. Just kept it like this so that you can see what type I'm using and in my mortar and pestle I have some green seasoning that I'm not gonna blend I like to when I'm cooking my fried curry I like to just grind it in here so in here I have my garlic pimento pepper I have a red chili some bandana also known as culantro I have some celery stem and over here I have some brown sugar. I really like to use brown sugar for this recipe. It will add a nice color to your pumpkin. And for my dry ingredients, I have some salt, chicken bouillon, adobo, black pepper, paprika, and complete seasoning. And over here I have some chopped onion, scallions, I have four, red chili that I will not be grinding or chopped. I'll be putting them just like that in my curry and I am going to use a piece of sweet pepper and some oil now I know this is strange using some sweet pepper but I've tried it many times and the taste is really good so I just want to show you that it's optional for you if you have never used it and you don't want to you want to keep it simple then go ahead and do that it's fine just like that as well so now in this step we will season our fish and we will allow it to marinate while we prepare our pumpkin. So in this step, we will be marinating our fish and we're gonna add in our green seasoning. You can make your green seasoning the way you like it. You don't have to follow my recipe. I will, however, leave you the link down below in the description box of my green seasoning recipe. I'm gonna add in all my dry ingredients here and we're gonna mix this until the fish is well coated with the green seasoning and all of the dry ingredients. So when you're sure that your seasoning has coated the fish evenly, you can place this on the side and we're gonna add in this when we're ready to fry. So now I'm gonna go peel my pumpkin and cut it into cubes. So I'm done chopping my pumpkin. I went ahead and washed it as well. We'll place this on the side and we'll work on our green seasoning now we don't want this to be finely grind you just want to smash it into small pieces and get that nice juice out of them these are the nice chunks i like to see now we're gonna head over to the stove and we're gonna start heating up some oil to fry our fish that's the next step now while our oil is heating up we'll just add in the cornstarch we're gonna make sure that the fish is coated evenly with the cornstarch. So you wanna make sure you mix this until the cornstarch is blending with the color of the fish. You don't wanna see the, like the white spots like this. You wanna make sure that it's well mixed together. They should all have the same color. Now let's head over to the stove. So you wanna keep your stove on medium to medium high heat. And you're going to add in small pieces of fish. And you're going to add in as much as your pot can take. You're going to fry them on both sides for about three minutes until they are nice and golden brown. Now you're going to allow the fish to cook completely because it's not going to have any kind of frying with the pumpkin. We're just going to add it in at the end. Of the cooking process and we'll mix it in as you know fish is a very soft and delicate meat and if you turn it 
in the pumpkin it can break and fall apart so we want to keep it nice and whole so while our fish is frying you're going to grab yourself a bowl and add a piece of bounty paper to drain the oil now when you're sure that it's cooked on one side you're going to flip it over to the other side So guys, I'm going to take these out now. I was just waiting for them to get a little bit darker. And they're at the color that I like it. So guys, now that we have our fish already fried, we're going to place this on the side and we're going to work on the pumpkin now. So guys, to my pot, I add in about a quarter cup of oil. And I'm going to add in my onions. And I'm going to add in my green seasoning as well. You want to turn this around. And when you start smelling the fragrance from the onion and the garlic, you're going to add in your pumpkin. At the same time, you want to add in all of your dry ingredients. I'm going to go in with my sugar as well. And I'm going to mix this in. Now, I'm going to go in with some salt as well. I'm not going to leave you the amount that I use. I'll leave that up to you. You can taste it and adjust to your liking. So I'm just going to cover it and allow it to cook and steam for a while. And I'll give you guys a peek in the next few. We're back and I just want to give you guys a quick look at how my pumpkin is coming up. As you can see, the pumpkin has released a lot of water and that's really good. I like when it releases that water. It gives it some time to fry and melt the pumpkin. So we're just going to use the spoon to break the pumpkin into small pieces. This will help speed up the process. Is when you use the spoon and it's breaking into half, you know that it's halfway there. I am just going to add in my sweet pepper. I'm going to keep my red chili and my scallions for a little bit later on because I don't want my, my red chili to be minced up. I just want it to be nice and steamed. I really like adding the sweet pepper. I really want you guys to try adding the sweet pepper in it and let me know what you think or how you like the taste. So now I'm going to cover this again and we want all that water to evaporate. So guys, my pumpkin has melted nicely and I'm going to add in my scallions and my red chili. I still have a little bit more liquid in there that I would like to um, dry out. So I'm just going to add in this and by then it will give me enough time for my pepper to be nice and steamed and the scallions to blend in really really nice with it. So after about two minutes of adding in the scallions and the red chili, you can go ahead and add in your fish now. We're just gonna empty that in there and you want to turn your stove down to low and you're gonna go ahead and just mix in the fish with the pumpkin and you're gonna try to be gentle here you don't want to break the fish apart so once you see your fish is all mixed in the pumpkin you can turn your stove off and you're all set here I'm just gonna empty this into my serving container and I will give you guys the last and final look. Now here's the final result of our fried pumpkin and fish. We hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching.